In this episode, I will show you the overhauling of generator. So, I will show you the overhauling of generator, the assembling of cylinder head using the tightening of this hydraulic jack, the fuel pump adjustment, and also how to take the topic clearance. Generator engine cylinder head assembly. that a part of the piston is the combustion chamber. This is the cylinder head assembly. We examine the top of the engine and the cylinder head is completely clean. Insert the O-rings for the cooling water of the cylinder head. The round steel is the gasket for the cylinder head, which is ready to take. Apply anti compound for all O-rings and gasket. Make sure the connection for the rotor arm lubrication is fitted with O-rings. Apply anti-seize compound to the exhaust port plants. Start lowering the cylinder head. Be careful with the cylinder head for stuff bolt. It should go inside the porthole of the cylinder head. Check if the hole for cooling water is aligned to the hole of the cylinder head. Also check the rocker arm lubrication fittings is correctly seated. Once the cylinder head is correctly seated to the engine, put the cylinder head nut Then put the four hydraulic jack sleeve. Next is the hydraulic jack bolt. And the hydraulic hose. This is the hydraulic pump for tightening the cylinder head. Secure and 
tight the hydraulic hose. Fully tight the hydraulic jack bolt and then loosen for one and a half turn. Start pumping until it reaches to 300 bar. Then initially start tightening the cylinder head nut. Tight the four nut of the cylinder head. Tightening torque is 600 bar. Then pump again the hydraulic jack until it reaches to the final 600 bar. Then tighten the nut of the cylinder head. The pressure gauge shows 600 bar. Next, we proceed to the fuel pump. We are tightening the fittings, the inlet fuel pipe. And the outlet fuel pipe. Tight firmly to avoid fuel leaking. Also type the lubricating type connection for the fuel pump. All fittings connected to the fuel pump must be secured. The lubricating inlet and outlet banjo bolt to be tied firmly. The engine flywheel. The cylinder head to slide. The stud bolt for the arm. The cleaning of the fuel bulb housing. The fuel bulb. Make sure o-ring and proper gasket are in correct place. Insert the fuel bulb high pressure. Fix and tight the fuel bulb top cover nut. Tight the fuel high pressure using the correct tightening torque. Assemble the cylinder head rocker arm. Put the rocker arm stud bolt and nut. Tight the rocker arm bolt using the design tightening part. Adjust the puppet clearance. Adjust the exhaust puppet clearance using the filler gauge. Exhaust puppet clearance is 0.4 mm. Tight the nut once the clearance is set. Hold this screw with the screwdriver while tightening the nut. Check the topic clearance of intake valve. At this point, we are adjusting the fuel pump timing. First step, 
is to loosen the locking bolt. Then turn the stud screw. You can turn the stud for clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on the desired adjustment. The guide marking for fuel pump timing. It is either you advance or retard the fuel pump timing. This is the actual checking of fuel injection timing. While turning the flywheel to reach to a certain degree before top dead center. When the fuel start to come out here, that is the sign that the fuel is started to inject fuel into the cylinder. The fuel is visible. The marking of fuel pump is in the middle. And the fuel is start injecting to the engine cylinder. Set again the flywheel to about 9 degrees before top dead center. The same procedure, loosen the nut. Then turn the bolt until it reaches to the marking. The middle marker line should coincide to the marker line of the fuel pump line. We will show you again how to take the tappet clearance. Set the flywheel to top dead center. Turn the flywheel until it reaches to the top dead center of cylinder 1 and 8. This is the pillar gauge used to measure the tappet clearance. We are adjusting here the inlet valve. It is very important to check and adjust the tappet clearance of your engine. Appropriate timing for opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valve is very essential to the engine operation. The suction valve clearance is 0.6 mm. Set the pillow gates and then tighten the nut while holding the screw. The exhaust valve tappet clearance adjustment. The clearance is 0.4 mm using the pillow gates. The valve tappet clearance measurements will vary from engine manufacturer. Once the clearance is completed and satisfied, tight firmly the tappet nut while holding the screw. 